that's right for unto you is born this day in the city of david a savior who is christ the lord and there shall be a sign unto you you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger and suddenly there were with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising god and saying glory to god in the highest and on earth peace goodwill toward men and it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven the shepherds said one to another the bible's glowing let us now go even unto bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass which the lord hath made known unto us and they came with haste and what did they find baby jesus that's right and mary and joseph and where was the baby Ly in a manger. lying in a manger and when they had seen it they, and made known abroad the thing which was uh, told to them about the child and all they that heard it wondered at the things which were told them by the shepherds but Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they'd heard and seen as it was told unto them. You can do it in this microphone. Well, I have a microphone that but, uh, I use myself. And see, Jesus was born. It? You know, when you remember how that happened? What? They went down to pay their taxes. Mary and Joseph did. Yeah. And when they got to the place to Bethlehem where they were going, they knocked on the door, and the guy said, no, no room. That's right. No room for them in the inn, or we might call it a hotel or a motel today. No. But there wasn't any room because there were so many people okay. that came. Wait. That's all right. You stay right here. It's, it's okay. Uh, Ashley is just being Ashley. And that's when you're 19 months old. That's the way you are sometimes. You have to explore the whole world. David, you know what happened when there was no room for them? The man who was the innkeeper, or the hotel or motel keeper, we would call him, the manager, said, I'm so sorry. I wish there was a place for you, but since there's not, he said, oh, I have uh, some space. At the manger. That's right, in the stable with the horses and the cattle, because it was warm there. Yeah. They wouldn't be out in the cold, because it's really cold right now if we had to be outside, isn't it? But a lot of boys and girls may not have a warm home like we do, but, gee, but there's, we need to give them money and help them when they don't have to, isn't that right? But the innkeeper said, all right, we, we will let you stay out in the... Manger. Ma yeah, in the, uh, where the horses and the cattle are. And that night was when Mary and Joseph knew it was time for the baby Jesus to be Me born. And was playing that, and I was Joseph, and Ashley was Mary. That's good. And then the baby was born, and the baby was born, and they yeah. were they were so proud of the baby, and they yeah. wrapped the baby up in some swaddling clothes or some clothes that they use at birth time, they, and they, they covered him up with blankets. That's right. And laid him in a manger, and he was warm and happy and smiling. Yeah, and they laid him in hay. That's and right. No and you know what happened? What? Three wise men came to see him. Yeah, that's the song that we sing, Three Wise Men. That's right. The three, uh, three wise men came. They had been following the star in the east. Oh, they followed for many days. And they were asking different people. They asked the king. And that's what we played at a school. That's right. Valley Fellowship. Mm -hmm. That was in your play, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and also in the music, isn't it? And so when the three wise men came there, you know what happened then? They gave them gold and frankincense and myrrh and a lot of, that was enough money so that what, what happened next... But it cost it a bunch of money. I guess it did, but you know what happened the next? The Lord appeared to the three wise men at night and said, don't go back by King Herod's place because he's trying to trick you. And he's going to kill Jesus because Jesus is supposed to be king of the Jews. And so they got up and they went home a different way. And finally the king said, oh my goodness, we've been tricked. So he said, I know what I'll do. I'll kill all the little babies, two years old or younger. And so 
the Lord appeared, God appeared to Moses and Mary, Joseph and Mary in a dream and said, Herod wants to kill them. I guess Ashley is over there trying to sing, so we're going to allow uh, Laura just to take her into the lobby now. There's but that's lobby. okay. She can she can watch it on television. She's, she doesn't really want to leave, does she? But let's find out what happened in, next in our episode, okay? Uh, she wants to be a part of it. She can watch it over in the lobby, though, can't she? Okay, well, we'll talk Where's to her later. Lobby? That's where we were waiting. Okay, let's find out what happened. Now, the wise men went home a different way, and Joseph and Mary went to Egypt in celebration. Now, there's a lot of things that are not really in the Bible that we do at Christmas time. And, you know, some people have Christmas trees, and they send his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little why round Santa, belly. Why does Santa have a pipe? Oh, just out of fun. That's not a real Santa. Then mm -hmm. shook when he, his, he had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in <laughs> spite of myself. A wink of the eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. <laughs> he spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving an odd up the chimney he rose, he sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the dawn of a thistle. Then I heard him explain ere that he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. And see, these are all about the bears. See, it's just a pretend story about yeah. bears yeah. and elves and Santa Claus. But sometimes it's, re it's fun to read those as long as we remember that they're just pretend elves and pretend hey. bears. They're not hey. real because the real story is out of the Bible, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, David? A grandmother. Hold the microphone to your mouth. You're going to talk. Oh. Hey, grandmother. Yes. I got more songs this Well, week. what is this song? Okay, it's, it says, Jesus loves the same. Jesus loves the children. That's it. Oh. That's the song. Give your mommy for Christmas. Um. How about keeping your room clean? Wouldn't that be a good idea? No, I am well, um, but you I'm, do that sometimes, I'm, don't I'm you? I'm gonna know. I'm to tell you. I'm gonna tell everybody what I'll, I'm gonna get it for Christmas. A pink thing where you, when you get out of the bathtub, your feet feel so warm. Oh, That's that would be her. fun. A robe and bathroom slippers. That would be great. I know that would be. Guess what else I'm gonna get for? What? A more more Christmas ornaments. More Christmas ornaments. That be nice okay and well, I'm gonna get her a new camera oh my goodness that's a lot of gifts for a four-year-old boy to buy his mommy and daddy but uh, uh, but maybe your daddy will help you do that well David I want to yes, thank what you else I'm gonna get for my dad what? I'm gonna get my dad um, some new tools for him oh new tools for him that's a good thing well and I'm gonna get him him a coffee table. Oh, a coffee table. That's a very and interesting I'm gift. Him. Well, I think that's enough and gifts. I'm give we him. don't want to tell all your secrets, do you? Let's keep some of the secrets till after Christmas. How's that sound? And then I'm gonna give him some. A big hug. How about that? No, don't you know what I was gonna Well, let's don't tell it on television. Okay, thank you very much, David, for coming to be with me on television and for your singing a cappella. And we want you to come back again sometime when you get maybe your own little band together. Okay. And then you invite some of your friends from, uh, from preschool at Valley Fellowship and get a group okay. of them together that could sing. Okay. Uh, that would be very nice. And remember that Jesus came so he could grow up and he died on the cross to save us from our sins okay. so that we could live in heaven with him and uh, also that we got to keep this separate from 
fiction stories like for the night before Christmas where you can't yeah we don't want to tell all the secrets let's just wait until later we want each one of you to have a wonderful Merry Christmas yes we do you would like to have a prayer about anything I know this is a very difficult time Guess during this hol holiday dad. season okay uh, you dial 461-8148 here at Victory Network. And any of you that haven't bought your tickets for the New Year's Eve, by all means, do buy those tickets for New Year's Eve. And, uh, David, you're, come back and stay with me till we're ready to leave. And we want you to have a blessed holiday season. I'm Bonnie Libhart along bathroom. with David Libhart. Bless your heart for watching. I'm going to hold the microphone. Let him give him praise, and give him praise. Signs to his presence with thanksgiving in your heart. Your voice is raised, your voice is raised.